Hello and uh, welcome to this first uh, tutorial on the RT software. My name is uh, Tarja Haukos and I will do these uh, tutorials together with Mushtaba Masuli, who is the other key developer of the um, RT software. The first thing we're going to do in uh, this tutorial is to quickly mention the name RT. It stands for Reliability Tools, but the name was also selected because we are using the QT application programmers interface. And just like QT can be pronounced cute, uh, RT is also pronounced uh, art. So this is the art software. The next thing uh, I will do is to mention that uh, this uh, particular tutorial is recorded on a Macintosh, but you will find that the interface that you have here on the Mac is exactly the same as for, for Windows. The next thing I'm going to do is to quickly walk you through the panes. Over to the left here, we have what's called the Objects pane. That's where the overview of all the objects you are creating will be, uh, will be seen. Here we have the domain. At the bottom you can switch between the domain and the analysis. This is now uh, the, uh, the uh, Objects pane for the analysis tools. So again, this is where we're later on going to create objects of random variables and analysis tools and so forth. And uh, as you create uh, an object here, in the Properties pane you will see the properties of the particular object that you have selected. When you run the analysis, it's uh, more important to watch the Output pane that's over here. The Output pane will, will show uh, feedback from the analysis, it will show analysis results. Uh, you can paste and copy from the text that is here, which is why my cursor has turned into a text cursor when I move over this, this window. In this larger window, uh, the uh, visualization will take place. We can have a Google map shown here, or we can have various plots being plotted as the analysis is progressing. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can uh, view uh, the uh, toolbars. You can toggle them on by going to that menu choice, and all the menu selections are available here as uh, buttons on the toolbar. For now, I'm going to go back to View Toolbars, and hide them. The next thing I'm going to do is to show you how you can view the Google map. So by going to that menu choice, here we have the uh, map of the UBC uh, campus in Vancouver, Canada. Uh, and that works, that works as, a, as a normal uh, Google map as you are used to on your, on your computer. In the next tutorial, what we will do is that we're going to load an input file by going to File, uh, Open, and uh, then we're going to run a few analysis and in subsequent tutorials we will go through how to create the objects to thereby create the input files that we have available on the website right now. So for more information go to www.inrisk.ubc.ca and thank you and I see you again in the next tutorial.